finished. There's Caramage at the top. The body weights, everyone making it in. Everyone around about uh, 76 and change. Earlier on in the B group, we had some uh, solid lifting. The best of the lifters was uh, Rzorian of Armenia. His total 3-2-2. Two, two. There's Karamaj, the Albanian. And some very good results in the past. A 1-5-8 snatcher at his very best. World Junior Championship second. There's a Pippa of Moldova, fifth at the 2013 uh, Summer Olympiad. Third at the Junior Worlds as well. Here's the Russian, Onanyan. 2013 Junior World and European Champion, and that says everything. Still a youth, still uh, a young athlete coming up. Now here's uh, Tigan Mithrosyan, 2010, 2010 World and European Champion. The other Albanian, Daniel Gudeli, big name in weightlifting, second at the 2013 European Championships, looking to go one better here. Richard Cash of Slovakia, third of the 2011 European Championships. Alexandru Rosu, seventh at the 2013 Summer Universiad. Second at the European Juniors as well in 07. Dimitrov of Bulgaria, third at the 09 Junior European Championships. He's lost a bit of weight since then. He used to lift in the 85s. And there is uh, the Turk semi. 2011 European champion. Sammy's best snatch, 157. Well, this is what we've got to look forward to now. We have the men's 77 kilogram class. Tomorrow, we go on to the women's 69 and the men's 85. So that's 17, 15 Central European time for the women's 69. And then on Thursday, just one category, the women's 75 at 17, 15 CET. Then on Friday, men's 94 at 18.30. And then look at all the categories on Saturday. The men's at 105 plus at 17.15. We start earlier, though, at 11 o'clock central european now this is the best lifter from group b as i said earlier it is uh, arakel mirzoyan of armenia who hit 147 in the snatch 175 in the clean and jerk one forty seven that'll be uh, a solid lift even in the a group which is uh, why we're getting a chance to see this now in the clean and jerk Hitting at 175 in his second lift, failed 177. So this is a second successful one at 175. So that's what the A group have to follow. The B group lifters expected to be uh, a little bit lower. That was a solid bit of lifting there. Previous winners, last year it was the Russian Komakayov. A look further down, there's Semi Yagsi, just three years ago. 2011 in Kazan, one with a, a 3 4 7 total. The Turks have always been very successful, and the Bulgarians too at this weight category. Georgi Markov, of course, one of the great names of weightlifting, 2002 and 03, taking the European title here. So, flashing away on Rosu of Romania, 140 is what we expect him to see uh, his account opened at. So we'll have the snatch, then a short break, and then the clean and jerk. Here are the records, the snatch record for uh, the Europeans, 173 kilograms. So we're starting at 140, so we're a good way away from that. Uh, some of the lifters here have some big PBs, though. Look at the likes of uh, Matrosian of Armenia, 177, his best ever snatch. So, uh, some of these men have been up and down weights, that done at the 85s. Yep, that's right. Mod Rossen uh, achieved that back in 2008 at the Olympic Games. Placed third, but it was in the 85 kilo category, so uh, I wonder what he can do in the 77s. So alongside me, Colin Bryce, uh, is indeed Michaela Breeze, former European medalist. We'll be able to uh, take you through all of uh, the action. Now, Rossu, 
is coming out as expected at 140. The Romanian open this competition and very slick. Well, that was a power snatch, wasn't it? <laughs> Happened so quick. Power snatch is defined by anything caught uh, above knee level, so less than, oh, sorry, greater than 90 degree bend at the knee. You sit in deeper than that, deeper than parallel. It's a squat snatch. All right, he was deeper, but it was, uh, was it was a very high. It very was borderline, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's one, one of my powers. I know my lifters would be uh, having a giggle now. Very snappy, and uh, certainly looks good for a whole lot more anyway. Well, who's going to be next? Uh, perhaps uh, the Bulgarian, Dimitrov. Expected to come out at 145. Yagsi, the Turk, again posted a 145, which is quite low for him for his opener. But there may indeed be some changing going on. Well, it looks like Alexander Dimitrov is coming out onto the stage. 145 it is. His best a 149. Did that in 2012, second at the European Under 23 Championships last year. Well, that buzzer you heard was the 30 second buzzer, just giving the athletes notice. Considering he's uh, getting fairly close to his personal best, 149, that looks a, a fairly comfortable opener. Mm, quite a lot of energy wasted there getting into the starting position. But hey, that's his style. Not much wrong with the lift. Setting himself, big chest, leading with the chest all the way through the lift. Pulled away from the bar as if a wrist was uh, giving him a bit of jip. Sammy Yangtze next. Very fast underneath the bar, looked to be lacking a, a little in the extension. Extension is important. Generate as much upward momentum on the bar as possible. Well, he matches the 145. Coming out now then for second lift, Alexander Rossu. Having done the 140, come up by five kilograms. Well, Rosso at his best, worth 155. Oh, Rosso really does have perfect levers for this sport. You can see really long back, short arms and legs. Perfect for generating maximum force. Good to see him to go two out of two back in 2012 at the Olympics and indeed last year's World Championships bombed in both contests. The game of chess goes on backstage. They're just uh, eyeing up the coaches and the lifters, telling what the others are doing, deciding when they're going to come in. Not too many games are going to be played in the first round. You just want to get something, um, maybe not comfortable in, but something that's achievable just to get you on the board. And then you can start to think about what the uh, really hopeful second lift is before you go for the dream third lift. That's right, you can see the coach there just pulling the lifter's ears, squeezing his shoulders, anything to inflict a small amount of pain just to get the adrenaline going, get the athlete fired up before they step foot onto the platform. 
Well, this is Pippa of Moldova coming out for his opener. One four seven, just as we expected. That's what he posted. contrast to the lifter that we just saw very long arms that's not favorable for a, a lifter it's a long way for the bar to travel see the slow-mo could do it leading with his chest from the floor Ramzik Onanyan coming out for it. his opener, 1 4 8. <coughs> this is a lifter with some calibre. Having come through the, uh, the youth ranks, he was world youth champion back in 2011, European junior champion last year, and also world junior champion. So, first big senior international. Yeah, 1 5 5, his personal best. So the coaches have picked what should be a comfortable opener. <coughs> Super solid overhead. A small smile there, I think. Uh, he'll be relieved, get the first one in. And this is all a learning curve for some of these lifters. It's a different kind of competition, junior ranks through to senior. There's a lot more pressure, and this is now competing with the big boys. Very fast, great position, all the way through the left. Coach is happy with that. You can see the Turkish coaches watching on here. The uh, Bulgarian Dimitrov expected out at 148, and indeed he's coming out at 148. Just three kilograms more than he managed in his first lift. Slightly forwards, rotation of the shoulders. He's in some discomfort somewhere. Not obvious what he's hurt. But he's a gutsy lifter. Really had to fight for that. And see as he stands up out of the, the snatch position, just rotates the, uh, the shoulders forward. Has to run forwards to get underneath it. So long as he stands still, feet in line, it's a good lift. back by accident yeah maybe a little cramp in the upper back you think how hard these lifters have to work in the starting position hands nice and wide really engaging lower traps it's just to set the shoulder blades in the right position so that they can lead with the chest if you're not tight through the upper back then you end up falling forwards as the bar comes off the floor Rossi coming out for one four eight his third and final make it three out of three for him which is great after his uh, last two major internationals the Olympics and the World Championships bombing super powerful lift and when a lifter executes it with with that much ease, you've got to wonder how far they can go. It's like with any skill, a skillful performer can perform with maximum ease, maximum certainty. I mean, it was so fast, 